why we use the resistance and why we uh, use the load and what is the voltage and what is the ampere electric and electronic everywhere you can see a uh, voltage and ampere in this is pressure of water and this is pressure of electrons so the pressure of electrons is called a voltage you can see everywhere 100 watt 12 voltage 65 uh, watt uh, 12 voltage you can see this is the headlight example of one headlight and you have a 100 watt it means you can also apply the p is equal to v into i it means voltage how v. many voltage we have to drop so 12 minus 3 it's called a 9 is equal to i hello everyone this is ozil welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to teach you the very important questions about the uh, load and the resistance so why we use the resistance and why we uh, use the load and what is the voltage and what is the ampere okay so if you know if you don't know about what is voltage and what is ampere just listen carefully and remember it because this uh, voltage and ampere is the most important thing to diagnose the vehicle and find the proper way to diagnosis okay in electrical circuit electric and electronic everywhere you can see a uh, voltage and ampere in in fact in your house also if you don't know what is ampere and what is the current and uh, what is voltage uh, suppose you have you have a water tank okay and this water tank fulfilled full in water what full in water same as it is we have a battery we have battery and this battery fully fully full in electrons okay so this have underwater is is a water tank water and this have a electrons so it's called a electrons okay listen to me uh, i'm not getting i'm not confuse you just simple you just remember that this is we have a tank and we have a battery in the tank we have a water and in the in this battery we have a electrons okay and now this water have installed in one place so it will create a pressure what it's a pressure no? you can see here this is the water and this under is water and upper side is water upper side is water until here it means it 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 pressurized it will get pressure so this will also a pressure of electrons okay so in this in this tank we can see we can say uh, the pressure pressure of water what pressure of water and we can say here pressure of electron pressure of electrons so this is pressure of water and this is pressure of electrons so the pressure of electrons is called a, is called voltage okay i hope you understand carefully and you get it very easily it is not difficult it's a very simple okay so this is the voltage and like a water you can understand like a water this is the water and this is electron is also a water but it's called the electrons okay the pressure of electrons is called a voltage and we have also we have a tap okay we have tap you know that if you tap on on the tap the water will flow same here we have a we have bulb this is the tap and according to the tap we can use we have tab like that okay we have tap and here we have a 
tab means bulb we have bulb so if we on the tap on the tap the volt the uh, the water will flow and it come outside same here if we if we connect this voltage on the tap the electrons flow flow in this bulb so it means what the water is flowing from here and this is also so we can say here the water water flow you can see from tap okay and here electrons electrons flow the electrons flow in the bulb okay and the water flow from the tap and the uh, the electrons flow so we can see flow of electrons flow of electrons is called ampere it's called ampere as you know that we have a 12 voltage uh, you can see everywhere 100 watt 12 voltage 65 uh, watt uh, 12 voltage you can see this is the headlight example of one headlight he headlamp fog lamp 50 watt 50 watt 12 voltage so this is the watt means what if you what what current you are using okay suppose you have a 50 watt uh, 50 watt and 12 voltage so you can put in put in power voltage so you can easily find the current okay so power is what 50 current uh, voltage is 12 voltage and you have to find the i so 50 divided by 12 is equal to i so you can see here very easily you can find the current you can easily find the current 50 divided by 12 you can see here 0 0.416 ampere so if we convert in uh, milliampere so we have to multiply on thousands so you can see 416 milliwatt current i sorry uh, ampere it's a milliampere not current milliampere not watt okay so this is the 41 416 milli ampere flow in this circuit if you install this uh, headlamp okay and you have a hundred watt it means you can also apply the p is equal to v into i it means v is uh, p is equal upon v is equal to i so you can get you you can put it uh, power is 100 divided by 12 is equal to i so you can get easily uh, 100 divided by 12 you can see here i is equal to 8.33 ampere so the current flowing 3.33 ampere if you turn on the if you connect this ampere so what so for what bulb 12 voltage so, so 12 voltage and 100 watt 100 watt bulb okay 12 voltage and 100 watt bulb on the time the current will flow it means the water flow 8 8 kilo and also this call this flow 8 ampere 8.33 ampere so if you have a 65 ampere so if you minus if you minus from 65 it will call 56 so you can left a 56 ampere so also you can use the 56 uh, ampere another side also so you have to know that our voltage our uh, rail pressure how many ampere is getting uh, so, um, crank sensor is how many ampere is getting and uh, our rail pressure sensors and map sensor map sensor intake air temperature sensors boost pressure sensor our solar nights how many watts it's take and how many amperes it will take okay you have to know that if you know that you can easily understand what is current and what is voltage so in simply you can simple say the flow pressure of electron is called the voltage and flow of electrons is called ampere this is the very easy and very simple
and second question is what our second question is what one of my last video we have discussed about uh, in the last video we have discussed about the uh, the uh, check light about the how to find the voltage if you have we have a 3 volt and 25 milliampere so how to find the r value if you have a 12 voltage if you have a 12 voltage so um, but you have a 12 voltage but you have a 3 volt 25 milliampere um, led bulb but you have to glow if you supply the 12 voltage it will be fused it will not glow okay so how to find how to find so it is a very easy so according to the um, according to the uh, ohm's law v is equal to ir okay so voltage voltage how many voltage we have to drop so 12 minus 3 it's called a 9 is equal to i i 20 uh, 25 milliampere so if you want if you convert in ampere so you have to divide by thousand okay this one this one and this one means the ampere is 0 0.025 into r so r is equal to 9 upon 0 0.025 this is the standard formula of mathematics if you want to if th there is a multiplication and this uh, come in in this side so it will go automatically in divide okay so if you uh, we have uh, we will divide 9 divided by uh, 0 0.025 you can get 360 here you can see 360 ohm 360 ohm uh, resistance value okay so 316 and uh, what is the watt of this resistance so same formula is there p is equal to i into v and uh, what is the uh, i i is 0 0.025 and what is the v v we have to drop a 9 voltage so we will put 9 here and if you multiply uh, here easily you just multiply it so you will get the answer 0 point 0 0.225 watt okay p is equal to watt and if you convert in milliwatt you have to just multiply by 1000 multiplication by 1000 so you can get 225 power is equal to uh, 225 milliwatt okay so you have to put a 2 to 5 milliwatt it means you have to size uh, put the size 1 to 0 6 okay but one of my subscriber told me if we have a battery and the battery have a 65 milliampere um, ampere okay 12 voltage and 65 ampere so so this ampere will get here also so that is the main question okay what i want to explain are you getting or not getting if you're getting if you're getting comment in uh, comment box and if you're not getting also comment in comment box if you like video if you get knowledge from video please do comment if you're not getting please do comment i will improve myself if i make a mistake on it you uh, you comment it i will take care i'm not a uh, master i didn't tell anyone to i am a master just i am i am a student i am a learner i always try to uh, research something new and i will make video uh, whatever i have a knowledge i will distribute and contribute okay brother uh, now we have 65 ampere so we know that if we have a 65 12 voltage and 65 ampere so 65 ampere will be stay it will not flow if it will flow it can't damage anything and uh, anything anything okay so this will be this will be this will be constant in battery it will not flow why because we have a this led but this LED need only 25 milliampere. 25 milliampere means what? 1000 milliampere is equal to 1 ampere. Okay. It means you have a 1000 rupees and 1000 dollar or 1000 rupees. You have a 1000 rupees. Okay. And 1000 rupees is equal to the 1k. 1 ampere. Okay. So here we have a 25. 
so 25 means if you convert it so you can get the 0 0.025 ampere you can say it is not a it will not convert it is you just like a pronounce it you have pronounced okay so this is converted so if you have a uh, one day of biryani whatever you eat uh, food is there so there is a lot lot if a hundred kg and you have you will uh, you your capacity is uh, eat half an kg so it is not possible to eat a uh, hundred kg you can only uh, take a half kg that's also depend in this in this uh, load led this led only get to uh, 2.5 milli ampere not getting full okay i hope you got the answers of your questions if you get the knowledge please uh, this video please do like share and subscribe to our channel if you don't visit our website you can visit here we can you can visit ramzon dot in and you can uh, you can watch the pinouts and ic pinouts ecm pinouts and many files are there and you can talk to him uh, his service is uh, very uh, very important and uh, also uh, there is a online classes so you can also join join from here so thank you